Megan. And I'm Holly. And we are Worn Out Mama's Cannon. Today, we're going to start our tomato series. If you live in Kentucky, you know that tomatoes are ripe for the picking right now. And in our gardens, between the two of us, we have about 75 pounds of tomatoes that we are going to process and put up today. Now, before we get started processing our tomatoes, this video is going to be more of a intro into tomatoes. Now, if you've never canned tomatoes, we highly suggest you take the time to watch this video because it's going to help you when you start your canning process. Now, let's talk about the different types of tomatoes. First, we're going to start off with a Better Boy tomato, and this is what we call a slicing tomato. These are perfect on a sandwich, but they're also perfect for making your juice. They have a high water content and high acidity. Next, we have our heirloom tomatoes. They have a high water content as well and a high acidity level, but it depends on what type of heirloom tomato you have. We have lots of different varieties in our gardens. Right here we have a Roma tomato and they are called paste tomatoes. They are meatier and they have a less water content and this tomato specifically has high acidity. So now that we've talked about the different types of tomatoes, let's talk about the food grade materials you might need when you're canning tomatoes. First off, we're gonna talk about citric acid and lemon juice or lime juice. A lot of the old timers are going to tell you that lemon juice is where it's at and most of the new recipes are going to call for citric acid. They can go either way. They can replace either one with either. And you're going to find a preference that you like more. Next we have sugar. So you can use either cane sugar or granulated sugar and sugar is really going to help even out the acidity in your tomato product. Then we have Mrs. Wages packets. These are just um, spice packets that have all the spices you need for whatever you're gonna make. They're really easy if you're a worn out mama or if you just don't have a lot of time on your hands. They have everything you need in them. And they have lots of different products. I know we are just showing the pasta sauce and the salsa, but if you're interested in it, look her up and she's got a lot of different tomato based products. Um, lastly, we have tomato paste. Now, this one is completely optional, but we really like tomato paste, um, especially when we're making our pasta sauce because it's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to help thicken up your sauce so you don't have to wait as long for the water to evaporate out. So, it's optional, but as a worn out mama, we love this product. About the different processes and products that we use to get our tomatoes ready for canning. The first process we're going to talk about is blanching. Now this will be a process that personally we do not use until we do salsa or stewed tomatoes, but you can do it for juice, sauce, and just about anything else. Blanching works like this. You're going to get a boiling pot of water and once that water is boiling you're going to drop about five or six tomatoes at a time and let them sit for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. And you are going to transfer them to a cold ice water bath. What that's gonna do is it's gonna cause that skin to split and you can get the skin of the tomatoes off really easy. And then you can also core them after that. So after you core them, if you're making tomato juice or tomato sauce, you're also gonna wanna get those seeds out. One of our other products that we like to use is this hand crank tomato strainer or hand crank sauce maker, whatever you want to call it. It's one of those products that you could go to Royal King or Walmart and find on the shelf. And it helps you not have to do that blanching process. So it's going to save you time and it's inexpensive. When you do it, you're going to put your tomatoes in the strainer and you're going to hand crank it and it's going to separate the seeds, the core, and the skin from the tomato juice. Now let's talk about one of our newest and most favorite products that we've gotten this year. This is a bad mamma jamma right here. It is called Harvest Pro Sauce Maker and it is made by Ball. Now we are not sponsored by Ball, but we totally recommend this product. It's a game changer. And here's why. If you put away a lot of tomatoes like us, this is going to cut your time in half, if not more. Just like the hand crank, you are going to feed your tomatoes through the top. The juice and the pulp of the tomato is going to come out here, but the skins and the seeds are going to come out here. 
You can either throw that away or feed it to your chickens or goats later on. So here's another new product that we got this year that we absolutely love. This is the Ball Electric Water Bath Canner and we are obsessed with it. It's amazing. It frees up so much space on your stove top and it doesn't heat your house like it would if you're running a water bath canner all day long. And it's pretty lightweight. So it, it is two pieces. It's got a base and a pot and it's not very heavy so it's easy to take especially with our canning classes it's easy for us to just pick it up and go somewhere else and show people how to can if you'd like to see a full review on the ball electric water bath canner just let us know now that we've talked about our different types of tomatoes and all the products and processes that we've used you ready to start canning some tomatoes if you have any questions about what you saw in our video just leave us a comment and we'll respond like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. Thanks, Thanks y'all.